More than $2 million are being invested in rural businesses across the state. As WRTV's Meredith Hackler tells us, this boost can go a long way for Indiana's economy. According to Indiana State University, 72 of Indiana's 92 counties are rural in nature. Uh, when you look at this, we understand that it's the rural businesses that drives the engine for our economy. And so uh, rural small businesses are, is a very vital part uh, of what we try to make sure that we are playing a, a role in and, and helping to uh, support them. One way the USDA has been doing that is through the Rural Energy for America program, or REAP. With the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, $2 billion was dedicated to the program. One of those businesses in Indiana that is benefiting from the funding is New Holland, a farming equipment company in Logansport. The rays that we have here will make the same energy that we use in a 12-month period over, over a year. These solar panels will allow New Holland agriculture here in Logansport to be more energy efficient and environmentally friendly, something the owner says he and farmers across the state are passionate about. We are interested in being environmentally responsible. Uh, that's uh, part of what we do. Um, uh, I can't wait for the electric pickup trucks to come along in some numbers. We'll start trading some of our diesel and gas trucks in. Jim Strader's family has been running farming equipment stores since 1984. They started with one store and have now grown to seven. The company recently expanded to start providing solar installation, which has created jobs in rural areas across the state. They don't have doctor degrees or people that work for us. They're uh, hands-on, they're out uh, in the country. We install right through the winter. We've got one crew in Evansville, Indiana today. We've got another crew in the uh, very northwestern corner, corner of Illinois. Um, building systems for rural businesses. Strader says these grant investments can help save rural communities and keep them thriving for years to come. Too many towns have died over the last several decades, um, so we need to take care of what's left and make sure that we responsibly maintain uh, the, the infrastructure and uh, have policies that allow businesses in rural areas to, to succeed. In Logansport, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. The Rural Energy for America program funds 50% of energy projects that rural businesses want to complete. Because of increased funding, the program is able to provide more money than ever before. The USDA accepts applications year-round.